Yet again, have you at any point pondered what our sun resembled when it was an exceptionally youthful star? The James Webb Space Telescope has created a staggering revelation about our sun. For the first time, we can see our star in an entirely different light. The JWST's most recent disclosure offers entrancing insights into the young periods of stars and the massive cycles that might have occurred in the early stages of our sun. Have we now opened another of the great secrets of the universe thanks to the new James Webb Telescope? What mysteries still await us out there in the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is a perfect representation of the advancements made by cutting-edge technologies. Since the telescope was launched, the investigation of the universe has advanced at a rapid pace. With its most recent mission, the JWST has demonstrated its remarkable ability to delve deep into the secrets of the universe once again. The telescope exhibited its absolute technical superiority when it imaged the object HH-21 with great splendor. HH-21 is also called a herbig Harrow object, a very young star yet advanced enough that it's blowing strong jets into the universe and beginning to shape its surroundings. Since its study by the JWST, the object has provided an abundance of significant data about the youthful phase of stars and consequently the early stages of our own Sunday. These observations furnish us with crucial information about the processes that occur during the initial phases of stellar evolution. Herbig Harrow objects are among the most fascinating astrophysical phenomena in regions of young stellar evolution. They consist of narrow jets of gas shot out from newly formed stars and streaming into the surrounding interstellar space at high speeds. These jets collide with surrounding gas and dust, resulting in dramatic emissions. Do Herbig Harrow objects were discovered in the 1950s by astronomers George Herbig and Guillermo Harrow, who were independently studying star-forming regions and initially observed the significant outflows. Well before the JWST era, the energy-rich jets from the center of a young star are astounding. Who would have thought things would be so violent in the stellar nursery? Young stars are everything but cuddly. They are indeed beautiful but also incredibly powerful. We can barely imagine the forces at play here with our minds alone. The forces that lead to the formation of a star are immense, and even in the initial billion years, things heat up around a young star. It takes countless years for a star to eventually shine as calmly and steadily as our sun. The object of the latest observations, the Herbig Harrow object HH21, is situated in an active star-forming region in the constellation Perseus, about 1,000 light-years from Earth. HH21 is particularly intriguing as it is one of the youngest and closest examples of these objects, making it an ideal field of study to investigate the physics of star formation in detail. The discovery also provides us with magnificent views of the dynamic processes that likely occurred in the early stages of our sun's life. The JWST has imaged the Herbig Harrow object HH21 with remarkable accuracy, offering even more fascinating insights into what was once impossible to see. For the first time, it might even be possible to see a double star forming at the center of HH21. The images reveal two brilliant high-energy jets emanating from a central point. These jets are enriched with particles like carbon monoxide and silicon monoxide and are evidence of high-energy processes within the star and its immediate environment. The discovery of molecular hydrogen within the jets was a major surprise and now provides a completely new picture of the chemical structure and thermodynamic conditions in the early stages of star development. The surrounding accretion disk of the young star other objects such as planets and moons might also form. However, the intense bombardment of the disk by the extreme emissions from the jets could make the formation of stable bodies more challenging. Nonetheless, the JWST studies also showed that the jets of HH21 are slower than those of many other Herbig Harrow objects. This slower speed could indicate that the star is at an early stage of development or that the processes in this young system are generally less tumultuous than in other stellar nurseries. The ability to observe such key cosmic processes up close and with high accuracy represents a significant advancement in cosmology and will lead to ever more exciting discoveries in the future. Observing the birth of new stars also provides insights into how ionized gases and plasma interact. The energetic jets that impact the cold surrounding interstellar medium create radiant shock fronts that act as visual boundaries of the young star systems. These early outflows of a star are akin to the protective shell of our sun's heliosphere. On a scientific mission with the JWST, 
researchers are excited about the additional possibilities. The JWST is equipped with a range of innovative scientific instruments, including the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, the Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Fine Guidance Sensor, FGS NIRIS. These instruments can detect even the faintest light from extremely young and distant objects that would otherwise be invisible to our eyes. By using infrared technologies, astronomers can now see through dust clouds to uncover previously hidden corners of the universe and gain direct insights into young stars and their formation regions, often obscured in thick dust shells. Thanks to the high sensitivity of the JWST, Astronomers and space enthusiasts alike can enjoy a level of detail that has never before been achieved in the history of astronomy. The JWST can not only image these faint light signals but also analyze them. Never before have scientists been able to see so much detail of the massive jets and precise studies providing information on the evolution and temperatures of the gases, as well as details of all the chemical elements and molecules involved. Herbig Harrow objects, typical of dynamic star-forming regions like the Orion Nebula or the constellation Perseus, are valuable for studying chemical processes in space. These regions are rich in gas and dust, offering ideal conditions for star formation. Stars are formed from the accumulation of these collections of matter influenced by massive forces. The jets ejected by young stars, which travel through space at velocities of several hundred km s are just part of the dynamic processes that occur during star development. When these jets impact the surrounding medium, they heat it up and create the characteristic brilliant arcs and clusters visible through our telescopes within this vivid display. Enormous physical forces are at work, as well as a light show of the elements, along with electrical and magnetic forces. Captivating observations reveal how the jets interact with the surrounding material, helping to shape the cloud from which the star is formed. Each beam of light and each color gives the JWST, and thus the scientists, valuable clues about what is happening here. Observing these processes live and in their early stages is like getting a direct glimpse into the blueprint of a star. If we understand how matter is integrated into the cosmic circle, how the final mass of a star is determined, in which elements and gases are involved, we can draw significant conclusions about the forces at work. This, in turn, helps us understand the overall matter formation processes in the universe. Although we can imagine that star formation is one of the great energy processes known to humankind, it is hard to grasp that such a young star can produce winds extending several hundred light years and blow them into space. The jets of the Herbig Harrow objects could be direct remnants of the tremendous angular energy that causes dust disks to begin to rotate and coalesce in the center. Nonetheless, it is possible that the young star uses the jets to expel the forces it no longer needs while simultaneously driving developmental processes in the gas and dust cloud and star systems. So far, we have only observed jets in young and actively forming stars. However, we also know of very old galaxies in the universe that also produce powerful jets in their active centers. Some of these cosmic winds extend far beyond their galaxies. These winds likely also disperse enormous amounts of material, which ultimately influences the mass of the star and the environmental conditions of the star-forming region. The material and energy expelled then drive further star births or other elements in the universe. Let's consider for a moment the role of magnetic fields around a young star. Magnetic fields are crucial for controlling the accretion process, in which the star attracts gas and dust from the surrounding disk, and they also influence the direction of the jets. Magnetic fields are not only significant in the immediate vicinity of young stars but are present throughout the universe. These invisible forces direct the paths of charged particles and influence the shape and development of entire star systems. In our own solar system, the magnetic forces mediated by the sun's magnetic field are essential for maintaining the heliosphere, the bubble that protects the entire solar system from harmful cosmic rays from interstellar space. The sun itself generates a complex and variable magnetic field that determines the order of our solar system, influences planetary atmospheres, and regulates space weather patterns. Sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections are signs of the sun's magnetic activity. As you might know, such events sometimes significantly affect the operation of satellites and communication systems on Earth and produce auroras. The study of magnetic fields and young stellar systems like HH21 is an exciting field of research and is still in its early stages. 
If we understand the development of stars in distant regions, we can also gain insights into the history of our sun. Our star is 4.5 billion years old and has undergone many changes since its birth in a cloud of dust and gas. The beginnings of the system also determined how planets were formed. From the solid Jupiter to the rocky planets including our Earth, various gas giants, and small planets like Mercury or Pluto, they were all somehow present in the early stages of the system or their distinct conditions helped shape the formation of the planets and consequently the vast environment. The study of the universe through advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, opens windows into the deepest corners of space, revealing phenomena that were previously invisible or poorly understood. With its cutting-edge technology and unprecedented capabilities, the JWST represents a leap forward in our ability to explore and comprehend the cosmos. One of the most intriguing aspects of JWST's observations is its ability to peer into regions where stars are in their infancy. These stellar nurseries, scattered throughout galaxies, are cosmic laboratories where the process of star formation unfolds. Understanding this process is crucial because stars are not just celestial objects. They are the fundamental building blocks of galaxies and the sources of the elements that make up planets and life itself. The JWST's instruments, such as the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, and the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, are specially designed to detect faint infrared signals emitted by young stars and their surrounding environments. Infrared radiation is particularly useful for studying these regions because it can penetrate the dense clouds of dust and gas that shroud star forming regions, revealing the hidden processes within. One of the key phenomena observed by the JWST is the accretion of material onto young stars. As a young star forms, it gravitationally attracts surrounding gas and dust, building up a rotating disk known as an accretion disk. This disk is a crucial stage in the star's evolution, as it provides the raw material from which planets eventually form. The JWST's ability to study the chemical composition and dynamics of these disks sheds light on how planetary systems like our own solar system might have come into existence billions of years ago. In addition to studying individual stars and their accretion disks, the JWST also investigates the broader environment of star-forming regions. These regions are rich in molecular gases like hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and water vapor, which serve as the fuel for star formation. By mapping the distribution and abundance of these molecules, astronomers can piece together the complex processes that govern the birth of stars and the formation of planetary systems. The JWST's observations have also provided new insights into the role of magnetic fields in star formation. Magnetic fields play a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of accretion disks and regulating the outflow of material from young stars. Understanding how these magnetic fields interact with the surrounding environment is essential for developing a comprehensive model of star formation and evolution. One of the most spectacular phenomena observed by the JWST is the outflow of material from young stars in the form of jets. These jets, which can extend for thousands of astronomical units, AU, into space, are propelled by the intense magnetic fields and gravitational forces near the star's poles. Studying these jets allows astronomers to probe the inner workings of young stars and understand how they release energy and momentum into their surroundings. Another area of JWST research focuses on protoplanetary disks, which are the birthplaces of planets. These disks consist of gas and dust particles that clump together to form larger bodies, eventually leading to the formation of planets. By studying the composition and structure of protoplanetary disks, the JWST provides valuable insights into the conditions under which planets form and the factors that influence their evolution. The JWST's ability to observe distant galaxies and quasars also contributes to our understanding of cosmic evolution. By studying the light emitted by these distant objects, astronomers can trace the history of star formation and galaxy formation throughout the universe's history. This research helps answer fundamental questions about the origins of galaxies, the distribution of dark matter, and the expansion of the universe itself. One of the unique capabilities of the JWST is its ability to perform spectroscopic analysis of distant objects. Spectroscopy allows astronomers to analyze the chemical composition, temperature, and density of celestial objects by studying the wavelengths of light they emit or absorb. This technique has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, 
revealing the presence of complex molecules, heavy elements, and energetic processes that shape the universe on both large and small scales. The JWST's observations are not limited to studying distant objects. They also provide valuable data on our own solar system by observing asteroids, comets, and other objects in our cosmic neighborhood. The JWST helps scientists understand the origins of these bodies and their potential role in the history of Earth and other planets. In addition to its scientific discoveries, the JWST is also a testament to human ingenuity and international collaboration. The telescope is the result of decades of planning, engineering, and cooperation among NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. Its successful deployment and ongoing operations demonstrate the power of teamwork and the dedication of thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians around the world. Looking ahead, the JWST promises to unlock even more mysteries of the universe. Its unparalleled sensitivity and resolution will allow astronomers to study the faintest and most distant objects in unprecedented detail. By observing galaxies at the edge of the observable universe, the JWST will shed light on the early stages of cosmic evolution and the conditions that led to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. Moreover, the JWST's observations will provide crucial data for future space missions and ground-based observatories. By identifying promising targets for further study, the telescope will guide future efforts to understand the origins of life, the formation of planetary systems, and the evolution of galaxies across cosmic time. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a milestone in humanity's quest to understand the universe. Its advanced technology and scientific capabilities enable groundbreaking discoveries in fields ranging from star formation and planetary systems to galactic evolution and the origins of the cosmos. As the telescope continues to operate and deliver new insights, it inspires future generations of scientists and engineers to push the boundaries of knowledge and explore the wonders of the cosmos.